little and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Following on from my recent stamping plate swatch reviews, I have another gorgeous stamping plate to share with you. Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L47 is a stamping plate that I know everyone will love. So in this video, I'll be swatching and reviewing Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L47. And as always, you can find information on where I purchase from in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification on. And please like this video. These things really do help out my channel. Thank you. So I have my usual stamper and scraper along with six coloured nail tips that I'll be swatching onto. For the first swatch I'll be using this beautiful berry purple coloured nail tip along with a sheer white stamping polish. I recently shared this stamping polish in a collection review and with it being a sheer white when it's placed over darker colours it sort of takes on the base colour so the sheer white has turned to a pale pink and this swatch is absolutely stunning. For the next swatch I'll be using a white coloured nail tip along with a neon blue stamping polish. With this design with a fine detailer brush you could very easily fill it all in with colour. Stamping in black for the outline first. You could also put two on a nail as well but it's a gorgeous flower. I've seen designs like this before and personally I really like to use them. I almost used it for one of the two manis that I've created. For the next swatch I'll be using a pale yellow coloured nail tip along with a hickory brown stamping polish. This stamping polish is new to me so I'm trying out new colour combos and I personally think this one works really well. The image could have swatched a little bit clearer in the middle section but I do like to work quickly with browns so maybe next time an extra scrape but it's a really nice image though. For the next swatch I'll be using a dusky mauve coloured nail tip along with a rich chocolate brown stamping polish, again new to me. It does have a red undertone to it which you can see next to the mauve nail tip but a gorgeous colour combo that I know that I'll be using a lot and that design is amazing, so pretty and again you could add some colour to the inside of the design for added effect. For the next swatch I'll be using a mint green coloured nail tip along with a dark teal green stamping polish which happens to be one of my favourites to use against the light green bases. You'll see that once I've removed the excess and stamped the design down I did miss a bit so I go in with an eyeshadow brush and acetone to remove it. This brush is how I clean these nail tips, it's very effective, it's saved on using cotton buds or q-tips. For the next swatch I'll be using a peach coloured nail tip along with a shimmery crimson red stamping polish. This colour combo is where one of my many inspirations came from. I felt it worked really well and wanted to do a whole design with it. It would be great for spring or summer manis but maybe even into winter as well. I love using peach and burgundies and reds together. This is a gorgeous swatch. And then here they are all together. So let's move on to the photo swatches and manis that I've created from Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L47. Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L47 is lime pattern inspired and there is 38 designs in total. Five of them are the large full images at the bottom of the plate and then the other 33 make up the other mixed sized images. And there really is a mix of from the tiny ones to the really large ones. The image at the top right, far right, I've taken two swatches from that because it wouldn't fit on the nail tip. Now with the swatch I did on film, it sort of did, so depending on the length of your nails is how much of that you would actually use of the image. With a lot of the mixed size images, you can place them on the nail at any angle and you can really have a play about with them and you'll see what I mean by one of the manis that I've created. I love using designs in different angles. It can really break up the whole mani. I've used a mix of pastel and bright pop sticks because a stamping plate like L47 can really be used any time of the year, but especially spring and summer. And I have some plates like this already and I just love using them. It's definitely a popular mani design using the wavy lines. Fine lines like these can be tricky to use if you're a beginner. It's about working quickly because believe me, they do dry super quick. You can also get parts of the image that don't sort of 
stick down and sometimes you can actually push them back down but they do break very easily as well one thing i do like to do because of all these fine lines is to scrape the image in multiple directions this means i'm going to get all of the lines because just scraping down might not fill them all and i can honestly say that i've not had any trouble but i have been stamping now for over six years so with images like this i'm very used to them but scraping in multiple directions is a big help nicole diary do make some stunning stamping plates and i also really like their large designs because they are slightly larger square designs than the usual ones you can get on stamping plates so when my nails are long i can cover them with the larger designs really really well i get all of my nicole diary stamping plates from aliexpress and they usually arrive within a couple of weeks and they are very inexpensive so if you're just starting with stamping they are a good plate to start with I have lots of them already here on my channel and I do still have lots more to share as well and I've just bought even more as well so there's plenty to come. As I said earlier you could fill some of these designs with some colour, you could also put them over a multicoloured background whether that's with pigments or even a marble foil design that would look stunning. There is so much you can do with a plate like L47. A lot of the swirly images do work well together so you can really mix and match across the plate with your manis. When I was looking at what I could use for my manis, I did go back and forth on a few of the images especially for the darker mani I've created. I was so happy with how all of these images swatched. Some of the images make for some really interesting manis. This is definitely a me stamping plate. Again it's why I purchased it. I know that with some of the upcoming spring manis that I'm wanting to create. This is another plate that I do definitely want to return to. For the first mani I went with this gorgeous bright peach gel polish for the base colour which is a great colour for spring or summer manis. You could even push it into autumn as well. I use peach shades quite a bit to be fair and they work great with a shimmer over the top of them as well. For the stamping polish I've used a shimmery crimson red and it works really well over that base colour. You could also use different shades of burgundy from light to dark and also you could use just a plain red as well all would work well with this mani. For the image I've just used the same design but I've placed it in different places across the nail. It really breaks up the mani with every nail looking different. I personally love doing manis like this, they can be so pretty. You could very easily wear this mani from spring into summer and also autumn. For the mani I went with this new gel polish to me and it's an absolutely gorgeous colour. This is the first Manny that I've created using it and I did go back and forth on the finish whether I should go matte or glossy but there is a difference with the colour and in the end I decided that I liked the glossy look better. For the stamping polish I've used a sheer white stamping polish and that polish has turned a slight grey which I have to say I really like. I don't think I've ever done a colour combo like this but it's definitely one that I'll be using in the future because I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. With the stamping images I've used two different swirly designs and again I've just placed them also in different places across the nail. This mani is so me though, I absolutely love how it has turned out. I would like to see what it would look like as a matte finish and I might change it and put it up on my Instagram if I remember where I've put them. All of my swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days along with the manis and what products I've used. There is a link in the description box below. If you do come over and see my posts and you like them please give them a like as well. I'd be really grateful. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L47. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did then please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.